and I think at certain points you get rewards and uh, items as you go through it. Um, okay, I think it's just explaining things now. Um, by making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests, you will gain AP, academic points. When you're, you've accumulated enough AP, your rank will increase the next time you report a quest. There are 15 ranks assigned from B7 to A0. And every time your rank increases, you will receive a, a perk from the academy. And I think these perks are the moment mainly items. B7 to A0 is a weird ranking system. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. Yep. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. Free day? It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. So it's the weekend. But we only get one day off a week? That's gotta suck. It does suck, actually. I've had to do that. I've had no days off a week and that sucked as well. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. I've never connected with a fictional character more. Um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Sure, try hard. Of course! This school shuts down for no one, so feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. The only other time I hear patronize is when someone's patronizing, so this sentence feels weird if you think about it that, with that connotation. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. Of course, it also means you're a patron. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. All On right. Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. I have my practical exam sometime in the next few weeks. A practical exam? What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. I wish I could do combat training in my school. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. Then get out. <sighs> oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. It's not a very good um, syllabus if it's not even, if it doesn't tell us anything. Legally speaking, you have to have a syllabus to explain the curriculum before you give us a grade. What? Here it comes. So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. And she's out of there. Oh, geez, those guys are already out. I'm a little worried about the practical exam next week. Time for a training montage then. I mean, I'm still just getting used to this staff. I'd be happy to help you train if you need any a sparring partner. The gym nanny team looks big enough that I'm sure we have no trouble finding a good spot for it. That's very that's very kind of you to offer. But I was planning on attending club practice today. Then don't complain. Oh, you joined a club already? Which one did you pick? I uh, decided to try for the band. The band? 
Alright. Though, I'm not sure how much use they'll have for a violinist. I didn't know you played the violin. Did you just pick it up for fun? Yeah, something like that. How about you guys? Have you joined any of the school clubs? I'm considering joining the art club. Two artsy friends. Art, huh? Somehow that's not what I pictured for you. Uh, no pun intended. Oh, I see. Pictured. Do you have any artistic experiences? I dabbled in it back home. Taught myself though, so I feel like this could be a good chance to learn proper technique. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see some of your work. Uh, wait, I'd love to see some of your work sometime. She just kicked that door open. Oh good, you're still here. Instructor. Is there a problem? No, no, I was just hoping someone could do a teensy little favor for me. There's something I need uh, picked up from the student council room. Something you need picked up? What would that be? Ah, oh, that's for me to know and you to find out. All I'll say is, it's something absolutely essential for your school life. Then why... Why do we need to find out? Why can't you just tell us? And somebody needs to go get it. Though, it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? You can't do it yourself? Sure, I'll go. If I show up in the student council room and tell them you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? Wait. Are you going? Are you sure you don't mind? Why are you guys surprised? You do have a club to go to, right? Yeah, literally, that's, that's the only reasonable choice besides the teacher, you know, doing her job. I'm still totally undecided, so this shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look in on a few clubs myself along the way, in fact. Well, if you really don't mind, thank you. The student council room is in the student union building next door and at the end of the hall on the second floor. All right. It's open until late, uh, until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I'll leave everything in your capable of hands. Oh, uh, okay. All right, and we are in control. It is. I have no clue. Those are all the same distance there's no minute hand or hour hand or second hand there it's it's either 12 23 and thirty nine seconds or something else. It's the end of class, so it's probably closer to, um, what is that, 7.24, something like that. It's a weird number, but sure. We're in like a little after 7 o'clock. That is a long day, though, for classes. But it is sunset. So yeah, that's a long day. bringing back memories of the summer and that I don't want to remember. The student council room on the second floor of the building the east of here, okay. Counting on you. Of course, instructor. Is there a reason you're still here, though? Don't tell anyone, but I actually left a student register in here and forgot all about it. Good thing I remembered, though. Otherwise, I would have had to sit through another of the vice principal's lectures. She's not exactly a conventional teacher, is she? That does not explain why you're just standing here, though. 
It doesn't take that long to grab a piece of paper. Okay. Let's explore. Seems to be class five's first year classroom. How do you know that? These are all locked rooms. Person, talk. Oh, glorious day. We finally get a free day tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna spend the whole day, or the whole thing, shopping. A little bit of a retail therapy is just what the doctor ordered after all these soul sucking classes. I'm ready to spend. I guess you got plenty of money to throw around. Have you decided on what club you want to join? I'm considering focusing my time on extracurricular activities during our free days myself. Hopefully we can both make the most of our free days tomorrow. I probably shouldn't say everything that these clap people are going to talk about because there's a lot of side characters in this game. I'll t probably just do the main people, like this person. Talk through Margaret. Margarita? Oh my, what a de delectable smell. It seems as though it's emanating from the cooking class. Okay, good. I was kind of worried there for a second. Perhaps I should follow my nose and grace them with my presence. Alright, you do that. I'm going to go this way. I have been trained in the art of the piano since I was not but a child. <laughs> what do you think? Do I sound like a noble from... A normal noble if I talk like that? I have been playing piano for a while, though. And I thought it'd be fun to play here, too. Alright. My name's Hibil. Hibili? Hybel? And before you joke about my name... Rings a bell? I'm... Head of the one Christian. What? It must be a play on words in Japanese, but in the translation it doesn't quite work. The name's a bit misspelling, misspell, misleading through, though, since we focus on more, more than just percussion and wind instruments. Sure. If you... If your interest lies in strings or something, we'd still be more than happy to have you. If you'd like to join, just stop by whenever you can. Okay, I guess I see the wind something orchestra. Uh, nothing relaxes me like having a violin in my hands. This academy seems really well equipped. This place might be not be so bad after all. Alright, whatever helps. It's good to have a way to unwind. I'm planning on playing the violin in the wind orchestra. Hamdell apparently plays the violin, or Hibble, I don't know why I said Hamdell, too, so I might be able to pick up some new techniques from him. That's nice. You do you. Cooking. Hello, welcome to the cooking club, whichever you want to learn essential to cooking. Excited dishes club, you should definitely join if you have that your appetite. Okay, I'm I'm gonna kinda go through Oh there, your class seven students, uh my name's Mary, I'm the cooking advisor. Hope to join, bring not. Seems for kinder than I expected from a military academy instructor. That's fine, I happen to be an advisor for the art club and the wind orchestra too. If you're interested in joining either of them, we'll be sure to welcome you with open arms. Yep, seems like a good, nice teacher. Uh, I can't remember. Can I get recipes from people like this? He hasn't given me anything. So I know you can get recipes because cooking is a thing. And you can fill out the cooking... Like, does it show up? Yeah. It's unavailable right now, so I guess it d doesn't show up yet. Art. Weird way to hold an art brush. 
blue. Okay. I wonder if joining this club was a mistake. Clara's supposed to be the head of the club, but she's so caught up in her own work, she won't teach us anything. Then there's Gaius, who seems a little hard to approach. Alright. Tries maybe the one. Okay. I should talk to them. That's perfect. I just need to get to know everybody tomorrow, maybe. Procrastinating. I feel ya. Hmm, creating art while I'm surrounded by art. Being able to paint in a place like this is an invaluable experience. Definitely not something I was able to enjoy back home. I should ask him about his home sometimes. It seems like he, an interesting place. Being able to paint in a place like this is an invaluable experience. Okay. See, there's a lot of learning academy. All right. Hello? Guess we... What is that face? Guess we have a new member all of a sudden. Well, bully for them? I got my own art to focus on. Okay. That's a weird saying. I've never heard bully be used in such a way. Shouldn't a club, shouldn't a club have head be a bit more friendly? Or at least kind of welcoming? This is the club head, she's making a horse. How did you do that tail? I'm no expert, but that's gotta be hard with a chisel. All right. It's going down, there's a way up, right? Yeah. It took longer to load than expected. I was expecting something else. But here we are. Seems like a nice place. I wouldn't mind being in an academy like this. Everything's close together. Close to the town. A nice little place. The monster is in your backyard. Seems like a good place to be. What are you doing up here, V? Being bored? I feel ya. That's not what I meant. Are you planning on joining any clubs? How about I help you look? Or uh, too much work. She's a difficult one. Nice view up here. I come here when I'm bored. Like now. Anything new? Alright. I just open doors with my forehead. Good to know. First floor. You, Vice Principal Henrich. You there. Huh, you're a member of class 7, are you not? Listen here, contrary to the tainted image your instructor has provided you, this is a highly distinguished academy. You can see this exemplified by our upper class students, who noble behavior. You would do well to learn by... That was a weird sentence. Take heed of their every action and mannerism. Do you see them running in the corridors? No, you do not understand. Alright. I don't know what you're talking about running in the corridors, but oh, let me just let me just do this. Don't worry about me. Just just going for a little jog. I'm not running, I'm jogging. I was just trying to get to my club when this weirdo started harassing me. All I wanted was for someone to tell me where the music room is. Do you know? Yeah, it's right over there. Still don't know my way around the, this academy. Before I, w I worry about that, I gotta get away from this guy. Dude. What are you doing? Oh, lost little lamb. Worry no longer. For I, Vincent, the noble escort Flor 
Floral. Floral? Floral. Will take you wherever your heart desires. Noble escort? What does that even mean? Alright, he's trying to riz her up, but he's failing. Anything new? No, no, no need to be shy. Merrily close your eyes, take my hand, and trust me. Name the place, I shall guide you there, like an elegant bird leading its chicks. Alright. Weird dude. Master Vincent is the only son of the floral... Fluoride family. I'm gonna call him that from now on. Despite his pedigree, however, it would be wise to take his words with a healthy degree of skepticism. For instance, while he may claim to be the noble escort, most women he offers his services to reject him. <laughs> that poor dude. There is some truth to Master Vincent's noble escort claims. His nobility is by no means in question. His ability to attract women, however, most certainly is. <laughs> Jeez, just... Dang. Uh, good luck to you, I guess. You're gonna need it. What do we got here? New student, huh? Well, I'm the janitor of this here, and here's my room. Uh, if you're ever in need of advice, just stop by. Just stop on by. I'll help you in any way I can. Even if you're busy, even if you bust a window or three, you can let me know, and I won't get after you too much. All right, you'll be the first to know if I start endangering the school's glass. It's a law. Taurus has a long history behind it, so you bet it's got a lot of a lot of rules. Wouldn't hurt a new student to give you your note student notebook a good once over. I don't have that. If you know the rules, you'll less likely to break them. All right. I don't think I have that. What do I do? Oh no. Oh, here's my notebook. I don't see any rules. Oh well. Uh, who needs the rules anyway? See, I'm running in the halls. Don't mind me. Okay, and you are? Well, hello there. Welcome to the infirmary. Alright, you're the nurse. It says Instructor Beatrix, though. You seem healthier than our average visitor. Oh, well, classes are over for the day, so feel free to relax here if you'd like. Thank you for the offer. She seems like a sweet old lady. What do you got here? Someone taking a nap? Phew, I'm feeling way better now. I had a fever this morning, so I thought I would be smart to rest here. The medicine instructor Beatrice gives me really did the trick. Alright. You got drugs? If you ever find yourself sick or injured, don't even think twice about stopping by. What? If you don't find yourself sick or injured, feel free to stop by any time. What? Did I read that wrong? If you ever feel yourself sick or injured, don't even think twice about stopping by. I'm, I'm afraid that's not how that sentence goes. Unless I'm mistaken? If you say don't think twice about it, it means don't do it at all. Right? Or have I learned that wrong through my life? Oh, teachers. If it isn't Reen Swarzer, what brings you here? Oh, don't tell me. You wanted to learn more about the War of the Lions? Well, that's just fine by me. Allow me to guide you through the hectic history of the Middle Ages. As luck would have it, I just so happen to have five or so hours to spare today. That should be enough for a cursory primer. Run. Run, Rain. You got something to do, right? Thank you for the offer, but I wouldn't want to bother you. Once he gets going, not even Hideos could make him stop. Alright, I should leave. Hello, you're new. Instru Instructor Mav Makarov? Neat name. 
You're from class 7, right? Must be one weird class if stopping by the faculty lounge is how you spend your free time. True. Uh, I'm just coming to grips with the academy layout. Sector Maverick doesn't really have an air of a natural... Wait. Doesn't really have the air of a natural science teacher? What does that even mean? He apparently... He's apparently in charge of orbital studies. So that makes sense, in a way. Every science teacher I've ever had has been, like, this nerdy, happy dude. They're, I don't know what it is about science teachers, but they're all just so happy. I don't understand. Anyway, just do me a favor and try not to fail any of your tests. I really don't want to t think of a new s of new stuff for retests, and if nobody fails, I won't have to. Base, I understand that. You might not want to say that too loud, considering your position. That's ah, locked. Vice Principal, or the Principal, Van Dyke seems to be absent. So that's the Principal's office. And this is Conference Room. Alright, I think I explored all the school. Or at least this main academic class room building. If I remember correctly, the student union building would be to the east of the main building. It doesn't seem like this is too urgent though, so maybe I'll head over after familiarizing myself with the campus a bit. Uh, there's more to Thor's than just the main building, all its classrooms. There are many other facilities located on campus. By many, I mean three. The auditorium is used for events like the entrance ceremony. I don't think we ever go to there until maybe some special occasions. Although this building is normally closed, it will be open during certain events. The field hut is a home to more athletic activities such as practical exams and sports. You can see horses in lacrosse, though I've never seen that kind of field design. Many sports clubs such as lacrosse and riding clubs use this area to practice too. Though I've never actually seen a lacrosse game. I've seen some of it on TV, but never actually got to see the field or how the game actually works. The gymnasium is used for general training purposes. There you'll find the pool and the training hall. They got a pool? Nice. Those two facilities are managed by the swimming and fencing club, respectively. As such, the gym's usually a lively spot. Engineering building is the de facto place for or, or meant maintenance and is managed by the engineering club. Okay, I forgot about that building. While you can't enter for now, you'll find yourself here and there and again during your time at Thor's. The library holds a variety of paper and books for you, your perusal and serves as a handy space for study and research. You can also go there to brush up on all of the Zimmer Zimmerian terminology you can handle. I guess that's the language. The student Union Building is a place for students to relax and unite. The first floor houses some stores and a cafeteria. You'll find the culture club on the second floor, and even a salon reserved for upper class students on the third floor. Occasionally you will see event markers displayed on characters and places. These show that the event will take place there. Alright, so don't do red until you're all done. Basically, that's what that means. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like what you saw, you can um, watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash luminiferousquack. If you want to see these videos, of course you can see me on YouTube with luminiferousquack on YouTube. And you can see if you want to get notifications for when I my videos come out or when I stream on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter or X uh, at luminiferousq. 
I hope that I hope to see you guys there. Have a good one. Please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. Bye bye.